Hey guys, Zoe up here for OneGlanceTrader.com and welcome back to the Baby Pips Forex Education video series. So this is the last video in Grade 1 of Elementary School and um, this video is all about how to trade support and resistance. So just to give you guys a quick recap of what we've done so far, we've looked at how to draw support and resistance lines, we've looked at how to draw trend lines and also draw channels as well as understand how all these technical analysis tools all work together. So I guess the meat and crux of it now is trying to understand is, okay, I can draw a trend line, I can draw all these various other lines, is how do I actually trade support and resistance? So when you go into the page on baby pips on, on how to trade it, there are two main key elements of trading support and resistance. The first one is the bounce where price just bounces off a resistance or support area and lastly is the break or more commonly known as the breakout where price breaks through a support and a resistance level uh, into into a strong trend so what i've done is is as you can imagine on on youtube there are not many videos on the bounce if i'm really honest so there are only a few to choose from so i picked what i thought was the best one and there are many videos out there on YouTube on the breakout. It's a very popular strategy, uh, the breakout strategy. So again, I've gone through many videos and I found that the one that I picked is, is probably one of the best to give you a high level overview of what it is and what are the basic concepts on how to trade a breakout strategy. So again, this one's slightly different. There are two, two videos from two different people, two different channels, so all the links for the videos that I've used are in the description below and I really hope you enjoy the videos I'm about to show you. Hi everyone, it's Niall at LearnToTradeTheMarket.com bringing you another quality trading setup video. I'd like to welcome all the new members to the free videos. We've had at least 500 new members join over the last two weeks. So welcome aboard, hope you'll get a lot out of these videos and then move on to the trading course and further your trading education. So let's have a look at today's setup. I'm actually short the Euro dollar and I'll show you why. Today we're going to be talking about confluence of horizontal levels. This is the support and resistance, the static levels in the market, how to draw them and then actually use price action signals to get you into trades. What I've done on this trade is use the daily chart, my anchor chart, to define the levels. I've then zoomed into the hourly chart and found an entry and I've set up a stop loss and a take profit order of 3 to 1. So I'm looking to make 3 times my risk on this trade and I'll now map out the trade for you. We can see here the top of this uh, large trading band is at 130.60 to 130.80. This horizontal level through the top of the chart you can see is relevant on several occasions and on the fourth attempt now we're still failing to break through that's telling us this is valid resistance through here very simple but often overlooked in the market is these horizontal levels so don't forget to draw your lines there's obviously uh, lines on the bottom of each candle and you can see uh, yesterday's low 129.35 would become a support level. It's a very short term support level but if you're not drawing the horizontal lines you can't line up the relevant areas and you'll see that a lot of the highs and lows of bars do line up with areas. So that's that part of the strategy. Now let's zoom in. Okay this trade is actually coming away nicely now. I'm up one times my risk. Let's have a look at what got me into this setup. Now I've already identified at the top of the chart the resistance. That's a given. That's an obvious area of containment for the market. We had an uptrend, short term uptrend, moving prices up into resistance. The buyers have run out of steam. The bearish sellers have come in and started to hammer this thing right here at the 130.60 level. So we know the sellers are in control. We've now also got a signal in the market. This bar here I call the hammer reversal bar, the bearish rejection bar, pin bar, whatever you want to call it. It is a large saw candle. It stands out amongst this entire chart as something very obvious. What I do when I see this setup form at a valid resistance point, I'm looking for the market to then follow through 
to lower levels and retest the most relevant horizontal level. Now we've got 129.35 down here. This is the recent low. That's the simplest way to look at an hourly chart when we've got this ranging market going on at the moment and the horizontal levels are being respected. Now how I traded this, I took a market entry around 130.30. I actually got 130.33. It did bounce a little bit for me. Now if I've got an entry there, the signal is invalid if we move back above the high. So our stop loss to protect our capital is just above the high. Now let's say that's a 45 point stop loss or 40 point stop. Let's actually work that out. The high there was 130.64 and the entry was one, say 130.30. It's around 34 points. So let's just say 40 points to be safe. In trading, we have to make at least two times our risk, preferably three times our risk or more to be in front because our win rate is going to be under 50%. Professional traders don't have a high win rate. We need our risk reward to be higher. So when we trade in this manner, we have the 40 point stop and then we look to make a multiplier of that. So let's look for 40 points, 80 points, 120 points profit. So it's a measure of our risk. If we were to hit this area here, we could move to break even and lock in a free trade. So if we come down to plus 40 through here, we have got a free trade. We can then run the trade into these next target areas. So the, the second area here at 129.35 is plus 80. That's two times our risk. Now I don't know many Forex traders out there that would argue with two times, three times their risk. That means you've really only got to have a strike rate of 30% or more. In this first tutorial, we will go over how to trade breakouts. Keep in mind that each strategy will take time and practice to master, so ease into the material and take advantage of the free practice account in the Trading212 Pro platform to test certain live scenarios. So what is a breakout? A breakout occurs when the price breaks out and closes above a resistance level or below a support level. Let's quickly have a look at a candlestick chart to illustrate what support and resistance levels are. A support line can be identified by connecting the low points of an instrument's price. They are identified as low points if the price rebounded upwards right after reaching them. By definition, the support line needs at least two points to be formed, but we suggest finding three points for a stronger indicator. The support line can be horizontal or angled. Resistance lines are effectively the same as support lines, with the marked difference that they are above the current price and act as a ceiling from which the price falls from. Again, they can be horizontal or angled. When we have a support and resistance line together, they create a trading range, so both lines keep the movement of the price within a certain range until the price makes a break, either above or below. Trading ranges are formed due to supply and demand and market psychology. When the price breaks out of the range, it signals a change in the supply and demand and the beginning of an upward or downward trend. Let's say the price breaks out above the resistance level. At this moment, the resistance line might become a new support level as the supply and demand has shifted, so most likely new levels of support and resistance will be established. So here's the general concept to trading breakouts. You can use the breakout strategy to trade forex, stocks or commodities and it works with any time frame. It's a method of technical analysis that follows certain rules and can be applied universally. So what's first? First you need to find a financial instrument, a currency pair, stock or commodity with a clearly defined support or resistance level. We only need one clearly defined support or resistance level to anticipate a breakout. However, a trading range created by both a support and resistance level is more beneficial as you can take advantage of the breakout in either direction, so either above or below the current range. That said, how should you enter your order in a breakout? We will assume that you expect the breakout to be above the current range. So there are several ways to enter the market at a breakout, all depending on your trading style and risk tolerance. The first is at the actual breakout. To trade at the breakout, you would need to devote more time to actually watching the market so that you can place a market order whenever the breakout occurs. This is the most risky entry point as the movement has not been confirmed and there's a high chance that the price will move back into the trading range. 
The second entry type is a pending order at a price level placed above the current range. This is a preset price level that can be based on the current range or determined by an indicator. We recommend that the price level of the pending order is at a previously unachieved high. It does not require you to watch the market as the order will be executed automatically upon reaching the price. The third entry is to wait for the candle on the time frame you've selected to close above the range, reaching a new high and in this way confirming the breakout. We suggest that you exercise patience in order to confirm the breakout. Having the candle close above the range is one of the strongest possible signals for a continued upward movement. Once you have determined your entry, you'll need to have your exit strategy in place. A good way to determine a reasonable target profit is to analyze the previous price movements of the financial instrument. Your exit strategy will largely depend on the specific trading circumstances, trading style, your expectations, and the risk to reward ratio you're using. The balance you have to consider when placing your stops to exit your trade is to set them not too far so that you don't lose too much money if the market turns against you and not too close so that small price fluctuations take you out of your trade too early. In this case, we could decide to place it right about here, which would be at our maximum permissible loss. One thing to look out for when trading breakouts is fake breakouts. Fake breakouts occur when the price breaks past the support or resistance level, but instead of continuing its movement, the price moves back into the previous trading range. So here we can see that the price breaks outside of the range but does not close above it. Instead, it returns back into the trading range and does not continue its movement upwards. So if you had placed your entry here, you would in fact have been caught in a fake breakout. In order to decrease your chance of trading a fake breakout, we suggest you wait to see if the price will continue to move in the intended direction. For instance, it's good to wait for a new high before going long. In this way, you will sacrifice some of the momentum of the trend, but you will ensure it's going in the direction you anticipate. Let's go to the Trading 212 Pro platform to illustrate a real live example of trading a breakout. Here we have the US dollar Japanese yen chart candlestick mode at a one-day time interval. Each candlestick represents the trading activity of one day. The first thing you needed to do is to have a clearly defined trading range. You can of course just have a support or resistance level, but we are going to go with the trading range as it's more beneficial. We see here well-defined tops, here and here, creating a resistance level, and clearly defined bottoms, here and here, that create a definite support level. Here we can see that the market has tested the highs and lows quite a few times and we can be fairly certain the market won't hold this for much longer and so you can expect a breakout. It may be tempting to enter the market when it's volatile and moving fast like over here, but this may lead to rushed decisions that won't result in the desired outcome. So a better strategy is to position yourself so that you are trading stocks, commodities or currency pairs that are currently low in volatility like we have here and place your order so that it is ready to ride the trend whenever the breakout occurs. So you would need to place your entry order just above the high or just below the low so that your order is automatically entered when the price moves. To see more information on this, you can refer to our video on entry orders. Thank you for watching this tutorial on trading breakouts. We wish you successful trading with Trading212. And there you have it. I really hope you found that useful. I'd be very grateful if you could like, share and comment on this video and also take the time out just to subscribe to my channel. I really want to try get these educational videos out there to as many traders as possible and really show them the way that they can learn to better themselves in Forex trading and also become a more consistent and profitable trader. And I shall see you on the next video.